Hi, welcome to Radio 1 Movies with me, Rihanna. The big film this week is Inside Out, and we've also got reviews of Maggie, Southpaw, and The Legend of Barney Thompson. So let's start with Inside Out. Joy, sadness, anger, disgust and fear are all the emotions which make up a little girl called Riley's brain. And when joy and sadness get lost and have to find their way back to headquarters, things will go a little bit wrong. That's long-term memory. An endless warren of corridors and shelves. I read about it in the manuals. The manuals? The manuals! You read the manuals! Yeah. So you know the way back to headquarters. I, I guess. <laughs> you are my map. Let's go, lead on, mind map. Show me where we're going. Okay, only uh, I'm too sad to walk. Just give me a few hours to... Oh! Some of the film reviewers I know have been getting really excited about this film, so I went in expecting a five-star movie. And they do some things fantastically well. Disney and Pixar know what they're doing, and visually it's incredible. And it's a really unusual concept, and that worked really well. I do think that young children will get a little bit bored with the more wordy sequences, and the plot does sometimes bounce back and forth between babyish and adult very quickly. But still, overall, I still really enjoyed it. Four stars for Inside Out. Next up, it's Southpaw. Jake Gyllenhaal plays world champion boxer Billy Hope, who, after his wife dies, loses everything, including his daughter, which forces him to get his act together. I can't do this without you. I can't do this with you. Why? I don't train pro fighters. What are you saying to me that if, if someone came in and offered the boys a pro shot, you wouldn't give it to him? All I need is a six weeks. I need six weeks. I'll give you my everything. You get my everything. This is about my family. Jake Gyllenhaal is fantastic as Billy Hope because he conveys a lot that isn't in the dialogue. You can see it over his face. He doesn't have to say much for you to know that he's quite emotional and also he's got this real hardness underneath him. Rachel McAdams isn't on the screen very much, but when she is, she really commands it. And actually, it's not a particularly new story. We've heard a lot of it before, but the performances elevate it with support from 50 Cent, Forrest Whitaker, and if you look closely enough, Rita Ora. So four stars for Southpaw. Next up, it's Maggie. This is a slow drama about a girl gradually turning into a zombie and her dad, who stays by her side at all costs. I made a promise to your mother that I will protect you. Yeah, but what about you guys? What if I hurt you? Don't worry. Caroline and I, we know the precautions. Abigail Breslin is solid as a girl who is totally confused by what's happening to her and her body and Arnold Schwarzenegger plays her dad and I'm really glad he's done this role because it shows a completely different side of him and you can really see his passion for it even if he's still quite stilted. It feels like a really interesting subject but it does something quite weird, it tries to cram too much backstory and not enough plot into the film so three stars for Maggie. Finally it's The Legend of Barney Thompson. There's a serial killer on the loose in Glasgow, so when a hairdresser accidentally kills his boss, he thinks he's going to get done for all the other crimes, so he turns to his aged mother for help. Are you going on your holidays? Oh, no, no, that, that, that's my, mom, my mum's. This is a coach trip. Oh. I, I'm just here to make sure she gets off safely. Oh. Mum? You know, you, you got to look out for your mum, eh? Yeah. She'd do anything for me. Oh. Anything at all. Hi, Mum. I'll give it a couple of minutes. Thanks very much. This is a fun black comedy. It's Robert Carlyle's directorial debut, and highlights include Emma Thompson piling on the prosthetics to play his 77 year old foul mouthed mum, and Ray Winston, who plays a cop, being out Ray Winston in the shouty stakes by Ashley Jensen. Thank you, sir. So it's basically like Sweeney Todd without the singing and without the pies, but with more swearing. So four stars for The Legend of Barney Thompson. Next week, I'll be reviewing Hot Pursuit, The Cobbler and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So click here to subscribe and catch that then.